So it should come to no surprise to really anyone that Ford has the best exhaust tips, at least for their heavy duty trucks, because Chevy or just GM in general has like that weird hourglass thing going on. Um, and it kind of goes straight back, looks kind of goofy. Ram, I would say takes second place and they have like that weird, like it's a four inch and it comes straight down, looks weird. There's really nothing fancy to it. But then Ford has the dual tip, right? Like this, but it doesn't come all shined up. So it doesn't look pretty, right? If you get a half ton truck, more than likely like XLT and above, if you have a certain package on the XLT, it'll have like the chrome tip on it of some sort, or it will look polished, right? However you want to say it. So this one is raw, but I was looking at my truck the other day and kind of realized if I made these shiny, it'd probably look better. So I went ahead and polished this one, right? You can see a drastic difference here. So there's the raw steel, if you will, and there's the polished steel. One of the big issues you're going to run in to while doing this is these little notches that they cut in here. You're going to have to do that by hand unless you have like a Dremel bit that you can get in here. But I'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully it looks better when we're all done. But for now, I did already do one. So if we can get them both to be polished and look pretty, we'll get there. This would probably be... Uh, a lot better if you sanded it first or did like some scotch bright on it because there are i mean it is porous and it's not perfectly uh smooth so if you got it perfectly smooth you could get a way better polish on it almost mirror like but i'm not gonna mess with that right now i'm just gonna show you how we're doing this first things first we're gonna need this is what i'm using the mother's mag and aluminum polish so we're gonna use this to polish the exhaust, you're gonna need a rag just to wipe it all off, like this ugly one. You're gonna need something to clean it. I'm just using the CS3. This is like way over the top and almost kind of wasteful just to get the debris and all the crap off of here before we start polishing. And then you can also use it to just like clean your, your tips up when you're done. But this is what we're gonna use for all the elbow grease. We're gonna use the Atom Polishes mini or micro whatever you want to call this right and this is a rotary so if you can get a rotary buffer of some sort preferably a small one just because trying to fit it into here is going to be hard with a big one you know back here not so much but trying to get like here on top right here it's kind of a pain in the ass so have it. anyway like i was saying this is a rotary um it comes with an orbital one but Put the rotary one on if you have this or just any polisher in general because this is what you're going to be using to do the heavy lifting of polishing this otherwise if you did it by hand it's going to suck it's going to take forever so having this saves your life so we're going to dab into this put some on this we're just using just a normal foam pad this one's like super hard right now but i'll spray some of this on here put some of that on and we'll uh go to town on trying to make this thing uh shiny like that one so See what this looks like. So this is the one you kind of want to get looking the best because this is the one most people are going to see because it's the biggest. All right, we got the most surface area. I'm not going to go past this weld right here, but we want to get all the shit off of here before we start buffing this thing out. So like I said, I'm going to spray this just a little bit to get it wet and then i'm going to take our mothers i'm going to use this rag to get it out and then i'm actually just going to dab it on my pad here put this lid back on and i'm actually going to do this on what am i going to do this on setting five it goes to six maybe i'll start at four i think i did four on the front so we'll start at four and we'll just work in small areas until we get this thing looking pretty.
So we did our first pass here. You got it kind of shiny. Like I said, the hardest part about doing this, if you have just the raw steel tips instead of the ones that are already polished, is like getting all the pitting off of here, all the shit from the welds and the like water spots. Like if you really want it to look good, you need to get all this shit off. But we're trying to do this fast, see what we can do and we can perfect it later. But so far, first pass, that's what we're working with. So a lot better than that. Let's see how much better I can get it. Okay, so it pissed me off because I could still see the water spots. So, Scotch Bright Pad went ahead and just went after it, made it nice and dull again. And we'll see if this helps at all. And if it doesn't, my loss, your gain, you don't even have to do it. So, now let's try it. Well, personally, I think it's way better. So, I'd go ahead and say use the Scotch Bright because that's only one pass. So, we're looking pretty good. There's the Scotch Bright. There's the polished Scotch Bright. Polish after Scotch Bright. So, I'm going to hit this a couple more times and we'll see how clear I can get it. I am currently using setting three, which is just the midway setting. So, I would recommend doing midway. And yeah, let's keep shooting. Well, there you go. Damn near a perfect mirror finish. We're getting there. That was two passes. Obviously, the more you go, better it'll get. So, here's kind of what we started with, more or less. Here's where we're at now. I don't know. Let me know if you think this is even worth your time. I like it because, you know, makes your shit look clean. I think it looks good, man. How many people are you going to see with a polished tip? <laughs> Not very many people, unless they have this already on their truck, which more power to them. Just buy it like that, but we might hit the insides, maybe. I mean, once you delete the truck, this shit's going to be black anyway, so. But anyway, yeah, we're getting there. Looks nice and pretty. This is where I'm at. This is what we got. All the way to the weld. Back to the tip. So I got a little more we have to buff out on the top and the sides, but let me know what you think. I mean, obviously the more time and effort you put into it, the better it will look. But that's where we're at so far. So hopefully that showed you you can make your truck look good. I mean, it already looked good, but you know, it's always nice to have something shiny on there. So. I don't know if you have any questions or you want to see pictures of how it looks after I put another 30 minutes or an hour into this, uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, we, I do have an Instagram, so I can send you all that stuff on Instagram. Just let me know. Like always, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.